Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Um, something, going to do something different today. I usually share a technique video on a Tuesday. Um, but there's a fair few new members in the group. I'm just on the way to pick up my daughter from school. Um, there's a few new members of the group. So I thought I would share my fitness origin story. So it's a story of, of where the value of training clicked for me. Okay, because it didn't click for me till much later in life, mid-30s. Um, and even when it did click, I never expected it to, to take me where I am today. That is uh, a trainer, for particularly for people who are over 40. So painting the picture of, of where this all started, I uh, was 35 years old. My daughter Lily had just been born. Um, I had just recovered from a carpal tunnel operation to my right wrist so I was really struggling with the use of that right hand. I was a shift worker and uh, I was look I was really unfit. I was well overweight, uh, ate a lot of junk food, uh, I was a shift worker and I wasn't coping with the night shifts very well so I was drinking way too much as well. Um, my night shifts were punctuated with 3 a.m. visits to the vending machine to get Starburst. And one of those nights, I there was a scale, a, like a bathroom scale in the tea room. And I think there's some sort of weight loss challenge going on at the time. And I braved jumping onto that scale to see where I was at. And the needle kept on going up. And uh, I, it came in at the heaviest I'd ever been in my life. And I guarantee you, none of that was muscle, okay? I was overweight and unfit. So I decided at that time, sorry, just waiting to get out of this spot on the road. I decided at that time to download a Couch to 5K app. They were all the rage at the time. iPhones and that sort of thing were fairly new. And um, so I, voraciously set out then to to lose some weight because that's the what I thought you did you know okay I'm overweight I'm unfit I'm gonna run so I think I got four days into it on the fourth day the morning of the fourth day I woke up and then my knees were a little bit sore um, above the knees and um, but I knew it was gonna be a really hot day I still remember this and I thought well you better get out straight out of bed and get this run done before it gets too hot because it's gonna be a scorcher um, I did a bit of an extra warm up, didn't know what I was doing there either, and I'm thinking, oh, this knee pain's not really going away, but I'll, you know, I'll just, I'll roll with it and I'll, I'll do the 5Ks, which is an interval pattern of walking and running. And I got through it, but the pain never really went away. Um, so the next morning, I woke up and my knees were aching a, a little bit, but when I tried to get out of bed, I couldn't. Like, the, the, the pain was like 11 out of 10, excruciating. And uh, so essentially, that 5K, those four days of the 5K, delivered me a, a very severe case of patella uh, tendinosis. So for the next six months, um, I, if you saw me going upstairs, it was sideways hanging onto the rail. If I wanted to get up off the lounge, if I say holding Lily uh, on the lounge, I would have to pass her and this is with one arm just about, because my other arm was still a cactus from the, from the carpal tunnel op. Pass it to my wife, Alyssa, so that I could somehow scrape myself off the lounge. And that, that went on uh, for about six months uh, at the age of 35. So I was just broken. And um, I tried a few different treatments, nothing really worked. Some brief relief, but nothing going on. So I started doing some reading and then I made this decision that I, I think I needed to do some strength training. That wasn't all that appealing, let me tell you, because I was in a lot of pain and any sort of movement. And I think by sheer luck, I came across a guy called Mike Geary, who'd written this you know, e-book, The Truth About Six Pack Abs. And I, I was just lucky there, because this guy actually knows what he was, he knew what he was talking about. And uh, he basically provided this progressive strength program, which was designed to help you get stronger, but reveal that six pack if that was your thing. And it went up against everything else that I'd ever read. You know, it was all cardio, cardio, cardio back then. And uh, so anyway, I followed the plan. And long story short, within a very short amount of time, my symptoms started to dissolve. My, my knee pain 
started to disappear. And this was through doing things like step ups on low boxes and lunges and, and, and exercises that I could tolerate the pain through a certain range of motion. Lo and behold, my grip problems started to disappear as well because I was hanging on to dumbbells and kettlebells and things like that. And within a very short amount of time, I think it was like two or three months, I came back to like what was as close to 100% as you can get at the age of 36. Um, so that was my moment in time where I, I clicked to me, hang on, there's more to this strength stuff than just going to the gym like a bodybuilder and building muscles. There is a restorative, rehabilitative, youth giving uh, value to it. Um, so that was, the, that was the origin story, that was the beginning. Now it took me a while longer, uh, a fair bit more shift work, but I never went backwards from there um, and eventually left my shift work job to become uh, a PT, a person who helps people, you know, to, to see the value of, of, of this strength stuff for more than just aesthetics. Um, so look, that's what I specialize in now as well. I, I'm not the, I, I'm never, have been, never will be the gym rat. I'm not the guy who loves training for training's sake but I do love what it's done done for my life and, and that's what I try to share with people uh, in, in how I teach what I teach. So that is my fitness origin story. Um, I hope you dug it, got some value out of it and if you're struggling in any way with your own fitness, know that 11 years ago, I was broken. I was like a, you know, a decrepit old man as far as how I moved and now I think that I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm quite strong, I'm not fragile, um, and uh, I put it all down to that just consistency of, of the process of training over the years. So look, I hope you dug it. I'm gonna to try to do a few more stories like this as well because I think they're in, in many ways more beneficial than showing me, me showing you how to do a dead bug from week to week, although there's a lot of value in that as well. So have a great Tuesday, guys, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.